And if you're in the mood for fish, this definitely tastes fishy. Get your biscuits in the kitchen. I'm a sous chef on a mission. Got the pepper with the sodium. We cooking with petroleum. Creole, bonjour, madame. Parlez-vous français? All right, are we rolling? We're rolling. All right, we're rolling. We're back just like that. And we are gonna show you. Okay, so first of all, I've eaten this. I grew up eating this. I haven't eaten them in a few years, maybe 10, 20, 30 years. years. But Cam's never had it, Lauren's never had it. So I'm just gonna taste, we're just gonna cook it really simple on the grill with a little bit of seasoning so they can see if they like it before we go out crazy and start catching them all the time. Some people do like them, some people it grosses them out because as a lot of you probably know, this is a bait fish, but Yummy. everything good eats it. So they're also another name is hardtails, blue runners. They're in the Jack family and I'm not gonna waste too much time with it. So all I'm gonna do is we're gonna score them. Whoa. I'm gonna score this like this. And what I did is I didn't want to waste a bunch of time showing you stuff that you don't care about. This knife needs to be sharp. Jeez. Um, anyway, I, it's called short gutting them. All I did is I cut it across, take a hose, you wash out all the guts, clean out the insides. But it's kind of a little bit bloody, so we didn't even show it on the video. So all we're going to do is go like this. We're going to score it to let the heat in. And... All we're doing is just score it like that. Then I'm gonna do is we're taking some of this Creole seasoning. It's great on everything. And it's got uh, no MSG. I don't know if that's a gang or what MSG is, but. None of it. But it doesn't have it. I'm gonna go like that, get it down in there. Repeat the process on the other side. I'm gonna season the crud out of it. And then we're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna do that and we're gonna throw it straight on the grill like that. And we're gonna cook it for about eight to 10 minutes on each side until it's all the way done. And these, another nickname for these is hardtails. We're basically just gonna grab the hard when the tail gets hard and flip it over in the grill. In order to, little trick to clean the grill, you may have already seen this before. You take an onion, whoop. And I have a little bit of hickory in there and that's gonna give it a smoke, a little bit of a smoke flavor. I got that going there. Wow, it burned my fingers. Woo. Then all we're gonna do, just gonna lay them down just like that, right on the grill. And I'm gonna go ahead and shut the lid, but before I go, and we're gonna see you in a few minutes, but before I go, we have a giveaway like we promised, and I have fish guts all over me. But this reel right here can be yours. All you have to do is leave a comment down below and try to tell us what, what was the favorite, well, don't, you can't give it away, but the lure that we use, the most common lure we use in our videos, if you know what it is, leave that in the description down below and you can win this within the next two weeks. That's it, a little 2,500. I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil on top. If I had a brush, I'd rub it in the brush. What that's gonna do is keep it from burning. Just like that. That's gonna help it burn. It's gonna start a forest fire. A little too much oil. Oh, all right, hang on. I'll be back in a minute. Damn it. Epic fail. <laughs> so much for the brush technique. Catch clean cook gone wrong. Catch cooking, cleaning, crispy. Catch cooking pre-made. Yeah. Alright, now it's called a super hard tail. Now it's called a cremated tail. I put a little too much oil. I find well done. Mm. You're definitely getting it. Man, it smells good too. Now it smells like WD-40. That's how you do it. Yeah. Fish, it won't taste fishy. No. 
Looks like burnt. Tastes like the lawnmower's muffler. I was just arguing with somebody. Oh, you need to put it on with a brush. No, you don't need to put it on with a brush. So, Glenn, you're right. Let's try that again. Say we can edit it out, but whatever. Keeping it real goes wrong. Wow, it's hot. Next magic trick. A little bit of that citrus helps. <laughs> Counteract that oil fire. Just like so. Leave that on there first. Leave that on there for aesthetic. Mm, that looks good. Now, if you were camping out and you had okay. nothing else to eat, this would be a really good meal. These are everywhere. I don't know anywhere in the ocean that the water's not in the 70 degrees and higher that they don't exist. South Pacific, North Pacific, East Coast, West Coast, Gulf of Mexico, and even over by Egypt. I mean, they're called an, uh, they call it Egyptian scat, I think it's another name for them. Looks like a burnt scat. And two. Can't even see. Oh. Smells really good though. Here you bird squat. It's not for you, somebody just won that. Sardine on steroids. Mm. This is probably gonna be the best one. This next to that. It's a little. Oh yeah, look at that. It looks awesome. You don't have to worry about me. I already ate. Sorry. No, no, you're eating this. Uh -uh. Sit down and eat your food. So Lauren, whoa. I hate when I leave it on, it blows the lid off it. All right, go ahead and try it. Pugh, it smells like gas. What do you think? Kind of wanted that one because it's skinny. Comes right off the bone. Mmm. Actually good. Actually, I can't taste anything. I had some soup today that was so hot, I feel like I sucked on a muffler and it burned my tongue so bad. Definitely do smells I, like fish. That's pretty good. Do I like it or do I not? I cannot tell. I don't like it. I love it. It's actually really good. You gotta get the skin. Skin on it, because that's where all the seasoning is. It's really easy. It's good. You lost me at eat the skin. You don't like it? I don't care if you like it or not, I'll eat yours too. I like it. I just don't love it. Well. Kind of tastes like off-brand snapper. Woke up next to a few people saying the same thing. It's not for you to know though. Hmm. Do you like it or not? I mean, if you just be honest, I don't care if you do I or not. I don't like it, but I don't love it. I don't like it, but I don't I mean, love I don't it? I don't hate it, but I don't love it, is what I'm going to say. Would you want to go catch them and to eat them again or no? Maybe. You, know, you just like catching them. I like catching them. I just don't know about the eating part. You know, it tastes like, it tastes like a giant kingfish. It, it does have a little bit of a fish flavor, but not a bad fish flavor. It's not bad. All right, well, that's all we got for you. This Real Cool Adventures. Thanks for subscribing, hitting the like button, and we'll see you on the next adventure. This is How to Catch, Clean, and Cook, Burnt Blue Runners. Give me some